Uh, transitional, uh, <clears throat> purple blue. Got a wild hair. Me, my baby, my baby. Oh, I got my Well, I was going to do a tour of the computer. Uh, you've, you've all seen this, right? Nothing to see there. You've all seen where they get created, right? Somebody puked guitar over here for sure. All right. Anyways, uh, this is uh, this is my new backdrop. So now when we watch videos here and you're watching this, we can set a cool scenery. Like I want to do like uh, Mount Hood or something, and it's really fucking cool. Well, you don't believe me, do you? Yeah, see, sometimes I'm hillbilly in the way that, uh, that I don't get out enough. I don't get out enough. But, when I do, I want to go there, you know what I mean? So, we'll be doing my videos like this nowadays, and, uh, I'm just totally jacked about it. And so, we'll have some backgrounding, and my camera will be sitting about right here. And we're going to be building kick-ass shit. Custom shop shit. Anyways, this is going to be off the top. Off the top. Really cool. I'm just playing with it now. I'm in no hurry for it. Um, this neck is the neck that came off the bamboozle. So it popped out and, and it's a great neck. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and I'm going to get to why it's on this guitar. But this is my new guitar. I love this fucking color. man. Probably my favorite color right there. Anyways, it came it came through my hands. It's the exact body style I've been looking for without having to make it. And you know what? It's featherweight. It weighs nothing, which is exactly what I was looking for. Holy crap, Amundo. Hey, this right here is another box where guitars puked. Interesting stuff, right? I mean, I'm building guitars left and right over here. You know, just... Just blazing through them and, and like this week and last week it's all about getting ready for this guitar show that I get the privilege of doing so anyways I haven't showed you the uh, this is already a cool showroom but it just uh, it took a turn for the better let me see here what can we do here to improve the lights we don't want to improve them that much but anyways uh, a buddy of mine a very good friend of the business and a very good friend of mine for years and years and years dropped off four two by fours. Uh, maybe they're two by sixes. Okay, he dropped off four two by sixes, and I go, What's this? And he goes, Well, that's your guitar stand, and it should hold X amount. You know, we, we, we both had our wild guesses of what it would do. Uh, anyways, uh, so I noticed it's notched out and it's labeled left, right, left, right. So I put the thing together. It's all you bolted together with uh, all notched out, you know, so it locks. And uh, it's just cool as hell. So my buddy Ronnie Truehurts, because I got to throw out some props here. My other guy, he doesn't, he doesn't care to be uh, identified. Uh, he's in witness, witness relocation program for... Uh, um, <clears throat> Vegetarians Anonymous. But anyways, uh, I got this thing. I put it together. I saw how, fuck yeah, this was going to work. Four two-by-fours was going to make a, a guitar stand shit. I mean, it, and so the concern was how was the weight going to be in the middle? I can literally, with at ease, as you can imagine, if you play guitar, you know that, uh, well... What do we got there? Eleven guitars doesn't weigh much, you know. Let me get a little, little light on the subject here. Let's open this up a little bit. So anyways, it doesn't weigh that much, you know. Each of these guitars weigh what? You know, anywhere from eight to uh, a lot of pounds, man. There's some heavy fuckers. This one right here, that's a heavy-ass fucking guitar. This one right here, party guitar. Dan Beats, I imagined you coming over and plucking this fucker right up, man. 
Dan Bates calling Dan Bates to Good Earth Guitar. Dan Bates to Good Earth Guitar. He never listens to me, man. He never comes over on my invites. Anyways, that's the Jack Foolery bass. You'll be you'll be seeing that this summer, and well, you'll be seeing that next next weekend. Holy crap! See you next weekend at Cascade Bar and Grill. We'll be Jack Foolery there with the uh, Highway Star, the uh, Deep Purple. But yeah, this is uh, Katrina. Katrina's killer, man. This is a killer bass. Very proud of this bass. This fucking bass rocks. It's Rock solid maple, look at that spine. Oh yeah, blow shit up, man. We're going to do a little tour of uh, Good Earth. Um, I'm done building. I just had to build my case. Who's that guy? What's that? Who's that? What? What? <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm so proud of this one. I put my goddamn name on it. Yeah, that's right. Uh... Probably a couple times. Actually, I signed this one. I'm so proud of this guitar. I freaking signed the sucker. Well, we got Good Earth there, and then we got the uh, Bohan and Basses, and then we got my signature right at the end of it, and then cleared under. This is a badass bass. I make you one too, man. Don't be afraid. I make some of the coolest shit around, man. Check it out. Anyways, that's Katrina. She's the sign. She is the metaphoric. Uh, uh, Katrina, uh, put into, uh, uh, you know, anyways, she's the storm coming through, but she's being seen as this, uh, this, uh, you know, this, uh, I don't know, a gangster chick, you know, or a chick on the wrong side of the tracks or whatever. I fucking love it, period. This is, uh, let's get up, we're going to get up close and personal here, and we're going to talk about these guitars, because... Uh, I got too many of them. Not enough people are ordering them. Um, I got too many. I'm down right now, man. I'm just getting ready for the show. Thank goodness I got the show. Otherwise, I'd be bugging the shit out of you guys to uh, come buy a fucking guitar for cheap. This one's 350 bucks. Let me show you something. That's a U.S. Bridge. Killer saddles. Those are Texas specials there. U.S. made Texas Specials, and I'm not telling you every one of these I do has Texas Specials in a U.S. bridge. This one does. I'm starting to sound like goddamn Tom Peterson here. Anyways, there was a day uh, where uh, I was super into this guitar, meaning I was making this guitar for me, so I threw a bunch of really cool shit out of it at it and it's just a beautiful strat i mean this fucking thing rocks if you want a cover on that front one um i got it i got the exact cover for it um but it's a turbo and that's the turbo of the turbo get it fuck man i do think way outside the box you'll get it one day you will anyways uh well, the ones who get it now, well, I don't have to tell you that. I'm just talking to the ones that go, what the fuck is this dude talking about? Anyways, beautiful, beautiful, swirly maple neck. Watch, look at some of the grain on this neck. It's off the chain. Uh, it's just like dripping goo, but it's the grain of the wood. It, it literally looks like... Um, well, it looks like fucking goo dripping. It's the coolest grain fucking ever. Hey, it's the coolest fucking grain ever on this fucking $350 fucking Strat. Unreal. Check this out. It's got the big headstock. Everybody wants the big headstock. Don't give me a bad time because I put one of the baddest ass Fender Stratocaster fucking logos. Because this is a fucking Fender. Sue me, bitches. I don't give a shit, man. This is a Fender, and I just put a Fender logo. Nowhere does it say U.S., but I think it might. Yeah. Well, remind me to put a logo on this one. Uh, anyways, we redid this. Complete part caster here. Uh, we made it to where we can sell it for three fifty and still make a mild amount of money off of it. And I'm talking like 25 bucks. Ah, fuck. Is my battery dying? Anyways, we're going to have to wrap things up here, boys and girls.
And so, uh, anyways, uh, you know the you know the drill. Uh, way cool, Junior. Super fucking cool, fucking Les Paul, guaranteed. All right, I'm gonna show you this and a couple more before my battery dies. But guaranteed, one of the lowest action fucking Les Pauls you've ever played. Brad Becker played these guitars, and he was he was like that. Oh wait, what? Who the fuck is that on my guitar? Batman. I'm Batman. You dumb fucking hippie. I'm Batman, you bitch. Hey, man, don't call me that, man. I'll fucking rip you off that fucking knob quicker than you can fucking save Robin. Don't punk me, Batman. I'll get you, bud. Anyways. Most coolest part ever, man this time that I spent all last weekend doing. Well, I did my drummer's uh, drum head too, but I spent all last weekend painting this cool ass sign that we had this cool ass light to accent it with. And uh, it just turned out awesome. Let me kick this back because I got a couple more things to show you. Listen, my guitars are off the fucking chain. You don't believe me? Come check them out, man. What are you going to lose? Oh, gee, I got to go over to Kits and play a bunch of his custom shop fucking shit that he keeps bragging about. I promise you, you will leave here with a euphoric feeling like he's fucking doing this shit. <laughs> Those are the ones who doubt me. The ones who don't doubt me are here all the time just to see what's coming off the press. Okay, one more guitar. I called this the, uh, well... Anyways, I called this the Apocalypse 7. And I ran with it. It was just really cool. That's Lollipop Girl there, man. She's the one with the chainsaw that kills all the zombies. You know, these heads she's got collected under her little uh, locker room. Cool ass guitar, man. Off the fucking chain. I mean, I could hit you over the head with this and you probably would would still not see what I'm showing you here, man. Anyways, that's all under about 15, 13, 25 coats of fucking clear and wet sanded and polished, completely gone, under, under it. Beautiful girl on the back of this guitar. I can do this for you too. I can put Eddie, the troop, or whatever. I can put whatever the fuck you want on your guitar, man. Pay attention. Because I do it cheap, man. I just, I, I'm trying to, uh have an easier living here and I'm paying my bills don't get me wrong I'm not I'm not desperate or nothing but I need business I want I want this to go uh, to the next level and so anyways this is called the impalement even though we're calling it the apocalypse 7 which is the seventh string and it's an apocalypse zombie fucking whatever motif and then I did the impalement check that shit out huh How's that shit look? The impalement. That's where this thing just drove its ass right through a zombie's brain and picked up all the shrapnel and all the weird goop. Hey, I spent a lot of time on this neck. And it's still smooth as a whistle when you touch it. It's all cleared under lacquer. But you can feel it. It's textured mildly. It's awesome. It's fucking straight up awesome. One of a fucking kind. Mind blowing fucking guitar. On the front, it's just the straight RG8 or, or you know, RG series. Dusty as shit. But, uh, very cool guitar, man. Plays like a dream. Like all my guitars do. They're just, their action is fucking lower than I guarantee you've seen in a long time. I spend a lot of time between this point meaning the bridge, and this point, meaning the fucking bone, I spend days on a guitar right through there on some guitars just to get that, you know, that feel you've never felt. All right. That's my cool-ass sign. Totally jacked. I mean, I was so excited about it. I put one of my other favorite guitars up here, which is my Randy Rhodes Flying V tribute to... uh the fucking great one, man. Randy Rhodes. It's a little minion. It's kick ass. I love it. Hey, by the way, 
if you got you know those types out there that are like oh fuck man thinking about coming to my house you might want a second think it i don't ever leave <laughs> this is my fucking tomb dude it'll be yours too you come with bad intentions but uh, uh i want everybody to come play these things this is a best friend of mine man that died uh i had a couple really super good friends that uh died the last couple years uh, one was Terry Agnew and uh, my closest friend in life, uh, Bill Swain, and uh, this is a tribute to him, and it always has been. This bee that I we started out with for the business uh, was to signify uh, uh, Bohannon, which is the bee, and which you can see there, the and, and then sons, which is the S, which was my son, who lasted uh, only a couple months before he wasn't too into guitars anymore. But this is my buddy Bill, and that's his arm sticking up through this thing and just saying, you know, uh, uh, it's just cool. I love that thing. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I went through a lot of shit with that guy. I'm a good shit, fishing and... Uh, and and camping and so anyways uh i figured man why why can't i get anybody to come over here and just fucking chill i got a cool little 50 watt marshall that i run through some 410s plus the 12 that comes with the 50 watt marshall and it just rips man and we don't play loud we just play thick here you know um and so we're not cranking it up at decibel levels, but we've got the right equipment to make it sound the way it needs to sound so you can hear it. And I put Jimmy up. So I'll, I'll, from time to time, we'll change the guitarist. Right now, it's Jimmy. And uh, I'll put another banner up here that'll be, uh, who knows, another guitarist. You know, Eric Clapton, fuck whoever. But we, uh, we open this, uh, this, this guitar zen guitars in room here we open this to uh to jimmy uh, uh for a lot of obvious reasons he's our local boy i mean seattle or whatever but uh check this shit out what the fuck you doing dude hey man mind your own goddamn bit oh shit fuck what the fuck dude i dropped him Hey, dude! I fucking dropped him! What the fuck? Hey, man, it's alright. It's alright, Dan. It's cool, Dan. You'll be alright, man. Pick this guy back up, man. It's cool. He's happy about it. He, he looks fucking... Hey! Hey, he's cool, man. He's cool, man. He's alright. What? Oh, jeez. Alright, you guys settle down there. That's our claymation uh, table there. <laughs> My daughter got me kind of uh, excited about that whole, uh, you know, move it, take a picture, move it, take a picture. I, I, I don't have the patience to do that, so I just played the whole scene out with my hand in there, you know. But uh, pretty proud of our sign. It's pretty uh, earthly. It's really got a uh, earthly effect. But uh, we don't sell keyboards. Those are my daughter's. And uh, she'd probably come out and play something for us if my phone wasn't dying right now. But uh, this is the good earth. Listen, this is not my living room. This is where we demo the things I spend my blood, sweat, and tears in making to show you that I can make them. Uh, you come over here. You decide what you want exactly and i make you the exact guitar you want same wood whatever the fuck you want man and i do it for cheaper than anybody's willing to do uh because we're just in that kind of a time right now there will be a time when maybe i won't do it so cheap but uh right now you can get it done cheap okay so 350 bucks kick ass fucking I mean, this thing is such a shiny black, you can't even see its reflection. That's when you know it's, uh, it's just cool. It just disappears, man. It's just that fucking shiny. Really cool guitar. 
whammy bar it doesn't fall out of tune i did the whole mojo did i show you the action on this fucking thing it's off the chain uh this was one of the ones we did the uh, surgery to that's where you just take that thing and you make paul reed smith go holy shit he went beyond what we did and i did man i i took this thing uh well down to the nut man i mean the the if you look at the neck, it's barely above the body line. But this thing is what I call slinky. It is very slinky, meaning it's very loose and greasy and fast. This, my friends, is the best Telecaster you may ever play in your entire life. It is my guitar, make no mistake. This is my fucking guitar. <laughs> I sold my... Uh, my beautiful orange Fender Select Jazz US. And I paid a bill or two. And with what I had left over, I bought all the parts to make this beautiful 1962 uh, Telecaster uh, uh, Repop. And this is an 806 Black that was issued 1962. But at the time, Black wasn't cool, so they discontinued it. So, this is a super cool replica of, by the way, my phone's going to die at any time, but don't worry about it. I'm just going to kind of talk you out. But anyways, this, uh, Rolls Royce uh, emblem on there, by the way, uh, this, off the chain, uh, um, Telecaster, I'm not trying to sell that because that's mine and, and that's Casey's. And we built these around Christmas to sell, I mind you. But uh, everybody out there is cheapskates. They don't know what they... Well, some do know. Tom Anderson knows what these tellies are like. He's got one. He loves his. Uh, and I'm only basing that upon the, seeing it in all the pictures and stuff. But uh, he doesn't tell me much. But I, I'm pretty sure he's enjoying it like I'm enjoying mine. Mine! I love that guitar anyways. And I, I make them from scratch right here. So this one is a part caster. I order these bodies. I can order you one in seafoam green, daff daffodil blue, red, black, white. I can order whatever color you want. Cream. Here's one that's uh, tan. Uh, Casey picked every part out on this guitar right here. Every one of them was picked by her, except for the logo. That's always my idea to do the logos in an original Fender. Yeah, I'll take the hit for that one. It just looks cool when you do them right. When you do them dead on, they look great. That one's dead off. But see, I wasn't trying to do them dead on. But this is legitimately, right, right here is a legitimate, really high grade. Um, oh well import well Mexican strat or, or or what have you it doesn't matter it's wood and metal to me but uh, you look at it and you play it here I'll tell you the difference between Mexican um, uh, uh, Asian or American the neck if it does not have a ring around, and now this would be an inner liner of the uh, truss rod. If it does not have a ring at all, that would make it a foreign or Canadian descent. Seriously, foreign or Canadian descent. If it had a black graphite liner, and what I'm saying is it looks like a little tube that goes in there and then they sanded it off. To the grade of the neck and so it's just a liner that's inside there if it had a black graphite one that would make it a mexican strat and this doesn't this isn't you know, people forge them like this too so this doesn't make them real just because you hear what i'm about to tell you about the real u.s ones and they're done out of a rosewood they have a root and you can see it's it's actually wood and so there's a like a quarter inch or whatever three-eighths of an inch um, uh, slice of wood that goes inside the core of that uh, truss rod uh, opening there 
and then it bevels out just like that hole does and it's cool looking and uh, and that's how you detect one of the ways you detect and uh, what's another way well that's about it and then uh, cheesy nuts if, if you got like a plastic nut on something then it's gonna look you know it's gonna look janky and cheap janky and cheap janky janky cheap janky janky cheap cheap and janky these dudes had a brawl man I think they're both knocked out. You got Dan Aykroyd down there. Uh, I, I I don't know. I'm thinking Lutz. I don't know what the fuck's up with uh, with John Belushi, but he ain't looking so fucking good, man. He's about to punch me too, man. And what's he got here, man? What are you doing? Trying to rip me off for a fucking guitar, dude? What's up? What? What? Yeah, I hear you, bud. Go ahead, man. Take her away. <laughs> Want no trouble, man. Got himself a nice strap from Good Earth. What you got there, bud? Oh, yeah, that's one of the good ones. Yep, that's a good one. Great job, man. <laughs> what the hell is this? What the fuck is that? Oh jeez. See, look at this dude. What's this little? What? Oh Jesus. Look at this guy. The hell, dude. What? What? What you packing, bud? <laughs> what you packing, bro? <coughs> you know what's funny? I think we all had grandma. Grandma had that dog. You know, they always had a lipstick out, man. It was like that fucking big, too. Anyways, that's uh, that's a character off of old uh, Silent Bob and and uh, this dude. And these are our characters over here. At Good Earth, man. And yes, we play with toys here. We. We, uh, we do. Dan Aykroyd's laying down for a nap. <laughs> he's pretty strung out, man. He's been here a while, man. He's, he ain't slept yet, man. Been building guitars all night. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? <laughs> Anyways, hey, always love and entertainment from Good Earth. Good Earth. Good Earth. I'm here to stay. And uh, thank you.